Okay, so first we'll start with coronaries. Uh, and uh, we have two investigations for the coronaries. One is coronary CT angiography and one is a coronary artery calcium score. Uh, first, let us talk about the calcium score, which is a less invasive investigation. What is, on a scale of 1 to 10, what is your confidence level in coronary artery calcium scoring for predicting uh, events? So, in predicting events, my confidence level would be as high as 8 to 9. Okay. Um, calcium score now has, you know, the data that we have is longitudinally over almost 30 years. And it's quite clear that in intermediate risk people, so I, you're, a, and you have to be asymptomatic. So, asymptomatic intermediate risk, which means, let's say, family history, LDL above 120, 130, um, you know, sedentary lifestyle, smoker, in the age range of about 45 to 60. If you do a calcium score and the calcium score is zero, that means there are no calcified plaques in the coronary arteries, your chance of developing an event in the next five years is almost zero. Obviously, it's not zero, zero. You could still have one in 10,000 getting an event, but it's almost zero. If after five, so we call it the power of zero. If after five years, the calcium score remains zero, so now you call it the power of double zero, then the chance of you developing an event in the next 20 years is pretty much zero. It's, it's very, very low. If the calcium score is above 400, it means you have coronary artery disease and the chance of you getting an event in the, in the next five years climbs up that much. It doesn't mean you have a block. It doesn't mean that you will have an event tomorrow. It just means that you are at a higher risk of an event as compared to somebody whose calcium score is zero or lower. And that would mean that you have to intensify your efforts to reduce risk, which then comes down to four pillars, which I'm sure you all have discussed earlier, but you know, um, sensible eating, physical activity, statins and aspirin. These are our four pillars that we have, and that would have to be intensified to reduce risk. That's so, uh, the debate that we have as family physicians is who to ask calcium score uh, test. Basically, the reason for doing a calcium score, possibly, as he said, is one, you have to be asymptomatic. You don't have a treadmill positive test or an angina uh, because that would demand a greater investigation. And you should be having a, a few risk profile area areas, age, diabetes, blood pressure, smoking, um, basically obesity, etc. And then you might do a calcium score. How will a calcium score help us family physicians or generalists? How will it help? If it is zero, what we can say is you don't need a statin, etc. If a diabetic patient has a zero calcium score, do we remove the statin from the diabetic patient? No, we don't remove the statin from the diabetic patient. Uh, but we, we can make a call. So we have these four or five criteria for giving statins. Uh, our, for example, one of our criteria is 190 LDL absolute value in an asymptomatic patient. Now, if, if that asymptomatic patient has a calcium score added to a 160 LDL, you might want to give a statin to such a patient. So, we are still in a gray zone as per recommendations of statin and aspirin related to what score are we talking about. But I think what he said is zero, normal, 400 plus, definitely on moral. But between 100, 400 or 0, 100, we are in a gray zone. Is that right? Absolutely. And you have to use every, all the other details, your LDL level, total glyceride, triglyceride, perhaps even your uh, uh, lipo, LPA, LPA, lipo yeah, LPA, LPA, all of that put together, including the lifestyle, family history, all of that, and then decide what works for somebody. But one word of caution 
and I've seen this sometimes with doctors, sometimes with very hyper patients. Let's say you have a calcium score of 600 or 700. That's a risk predictor. If you're asymptomatic, you're asymptomatic. It doesn't mean that you have to panic. It is only a, it's just a call that tells you, you know, maybe you need to reassess your life. But sometimes the panic buttons are pressed so hard that they start deciding to get an angiogram done, a catheter angiogram done. If you do a catheter angiogram in a calcium score of 600 to 800, you are likely to find some areas of narrowing or stenosis. But if you are asymptomatic and as long as you don't have a juicy non-calcified plaques that could rupture and produce sudden cardiac death, you know, as Dr. Manu Kothari used to say, of course, he used to go overboard on the whole thing. But our bodies also adapt. So if you have a 60% stenosis because of calcified plaques, or even if it's 70%, if it's been there for a long time and your collaterals has, have formed and you're asymptomatic, right? At the most, let's say at 600, you could do a treadmill test test, test test and just make sure that you're otherwise fine. But even that is really not required. So if you don't have any other problems, you don't really want to do an unnecessary test to add probably then an unnecessary procedure. I mean, end of the day, you can't fault the cardiologist for saying, I can see a 70%, should I put a stent inside? That's their job. I mean, they will let's mention it, then you have another procedure and then another procedure and it just goes on and on. So that's why sometimes these tests create their own problems because they lead you down a path which was perhaps not required. So that I think is important. It, it needs to be taken in the correct context. It's a risk predictor. It doesn't tell you that you have to tomorrow do a cath angio and you know, take this further down. Uh, if, the, if I have a patient who's high risk profile, I send the patient for a coronary CT calcium score, uh, can I tell you on my prescription that if the calcium score is more than 400, in this particular patient because of high risk, please go ahead with a, a coronary CT angio. Can I tell you that? Yeah, that's fine. That's, is, I can that does that. happen, yes. That does happen, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.